was. He went through sure. Black Machismo, Jay Lethal. He went through Azrael, and he went through Shima Zion in the finals. Three men who are known and have traveled the world over, and Sweeney survived all three of them in just one night. Not just survived, but excelled. He, I, he showed why he was worthy of holding that belt that evening. And the Larry Sweeney of one year ago, maybe you wouldn't expect that from, at least not without some severe uh, uh, cheating, but really whenever he defeated Eric Young to qualify into that tournament, Sweeney just took a whole new state of mind. All the, uh, the shenanigans was, was gone, the flamboyance was gone, uh, the showboating was gone, and Sweeney became focused on one thing, and that's that prize that John McChesney now wears around his waist, the Super Indy title, and it paid off for him. And Sweeney having a good time here in Ellsworth, unlike some people in close proximity to him. No, well, everyone that's chanting right now, I'm pretty sure is a member of the uh, Ellsworth High School pig wrestling team. So, stop it. How else do you explain the mud and the smell? Don't tell me you don't smell that. For the love of Pete, we're in a field. Here we go, countdown. Both men start in their corners. Baseball bat is legal, and McChesney jumped the gun, but Sweeney caught him. This match is underway. Baseball bat is in play in the center of the ring. If you can reach it, you can use it. And Larry Sweeney opting to just forego the bat and just uh, use uh, four knuckles and a little bit of uh, a little bit of elbow grease there. Hey, it works. I'm not sure if this matchup is no disqualification, but at the very least, it'd be extremely lax rules as they're already brawling into this crowd. Well, really, if you're allowed to use a baseball bat, are you going to get counted out? I mean, well, I would hope not. This isn't Stephen Coulter we're dealing with here. CJ Sensation, the official assigned to this contest. You just, you just had to work another skill. What, what is it with you and Stephen Coulter? You're like obsessed. What? You may want to bring this up to your therapist. No. I, well, we'll get to cut I mean, Hey, before. whatever you bring up to your therapist is your business. I'm just saying. You know, I'm just offering a suggestion. You're going to put me in therapy. Hard knife edge chop on the outside. If I could, I would, Joe. Uh, Larry Sweeney, however, takes control of the fabulous John McChesney. And Larry Sweeney, what about the after effects of that matchup with John McChesney? I'm not sure if it was the ring post or whatever it was on the outside of the ring, but Larry Sweeney busted open badly blood, just streaming down his face and body. And we're not talking just a little a cut, a neck. We are talking hair matted down with blood, deep red mask on his face from his own from his own detail. I mean And McChesney seems to be targeting the head in this matchup thus far. He seems to be uh, focusing on shots to that cranium right around where that cut was opened up a few weeks ago. And Sweeney fought through the pain and the dizziness as much as he possibly could. But the blood oh. kept pouring. Sweeney doing a little mood action there. Sweeney gets rejuvenated and is back into the ring. But Sweeney, his body just gave out on him. And Mick Chesney captured that title for the fourth time. He sends McChesney into the buckle, comes off for the back body drop. Great maneuver by Sweeney, but he's, he's uh -oh. slow to follow through, but that might not matter. He's got an equalizer. And McChesney, he doesn't see it coming. And he does not. The Louisville slugger in his hands, and oh, you can see the force Sweeney was swinging with. The way that, that bat bounced off of the top ring cable, McChesney was able to duck and Sweeney's back on the outside. Well, courtesy of a thumb to the eye, which a, uh, a good move on behalf of uh, John McChesney. You're not going to be able to hit anyone with a bat, with a fist, with anything if you can't see him. Or at least you're not going to be able to hit him well. Matchup continues. On the outside of the dangerous territory based on uh, what happened to Sweeney a couple weeks back. Uh, we see McChesney uh, address the home viewer for a moment there, and Sweeney with a wild swing and a miss. And Sweeney, you got to believe he's not fully recovered yet. A cut that deep. 
uh, it's going to take more than two weeks to fully heal. Well, not to mention, it's not like it was a scalpel that, you know, did the cutting. His head was driven into to metal. Right. There's bruising, there's contusion, there's a lot that needs to heal there. It's not just a cut. But potentially a mild concussion, if not worse. Possibly. It could have been some damage to his skull for all we know. And concussions take weeks to heal as well. And McChesney feeling pretty confident about himself right now. But if anything we've learned with, with, with Larry Sweeney at Super Indy 6, and, and what is indeed true with many of the past Super Indy champions, especially those that win the Super Indy tournament, is how much endurance and staying power they have in the ring. Um, so that seems to be the... Uh the requirement for the belt almost you need to be able to to keep getting up it's a it's almost a belt of of saying how much can i take back elbow by john mcchesney a look out a, a mini bat he talked about smashing sweeney's head in, but he went right to the bread basket there drives all the wind out of him and i don't know when mcchesney had the opportunity to plant that Somewhere, uh, what was that, in his flag or in the ring? But McChesney came prepared. Uh, good hey, preparation. Yeah. Cover two and no. McChesney using a loophole. I'm not going to fault him on that one. That's a that's a that's an incredibly smart move. It is a baseball bats are legal match. It doesn't mean that just the only baseball bat that CJ Sensation was holding is legal. I guess not. I mean, we really didn't spell it out in the rules of the contest. So. And now the technicality is coming back to haunt McChesney. Sweeney with five a few shots to the midsection. You can see they didn't have a lot behind them as McChesney was uh, immediately able to regain the advantage and once again holding that baseball bat, that miniature version, and just drives down. I believe he just stomped right on Larry Sweeney. He had the baseball bat across his throat and I believe he stomped on it. McChesney just trying to force the life out of Larry Sweeney. Chesney getting a little distracted by our ringside fans, but he has the situation very well in hand right now. Uh, and if McChesney can continue to use the baseball bat this expertly, this may be one of his easiest Super Indy title matches to date. I am surprised that McChesney was even able to understand what those fans were saying with the combined number of teeth they're missing. For the love of Pete, it's simple dentistry. It's been around for years. You know, maybe I'll dip into my own fun, buy everyone here a toothbrush and a bar of soap. Again, I apologize to all these citizens of Ellsworth who have purchased this DVD. I'm also sorry for the people of Ellsworth, because you live in Ellsworth. Good Lord. Pits I mean, Pittsburgh's no great thriving metropolis, but seriously, it's at what, an hour away? Well, check out Sweeney here, fighting back with these series of knife edge chops. Nick Chesney digs deep into the eye. Sweeney was mounting an offense there. It seems like he was on his way to a comeback. But McChesney again with that bat right to the throat. And how hard is it going to be for Larry Sweeney to breathe right now? Right, right now he's choking up. He can't see where he's at. He took a good shot to the throat. Cover two and no. McChesney now going to slowly, methodically wear away at Sweet and Sour Larry Sweeney with that reverse chin lock. Would you say uh, sweet and sour is looking more sweet or sour right now? Well, I think he's, he's, he's looking uh, in a very rough situation right now. It's not about sweet, it's not about sour. It's about survival right now for Larry Sweeney. Good alliteration. Beautiful standing drop kick, and notice where he hit him right around the head. And look at the smile on, on Fabulous's face. Oh, he's proud of himself right now. Sweeney out of his feet, got him a second time. A lot more luster behind it, but when Sweeney's had the amount of uh, of uh, head damage he has in recent weeks, it's not going to take a lot to affect that. No, but look at the scowl. I'd say sour. Look at the scowl on Larry Sweeney's face right now. Fans chanting for Sweeney, who's digging down deep here. Third drop kick. Big Chesney just got swatted away. The straps are coming down, Joe. Look out, oh, duck of the right, Sweeney measures him, second time, can Sweeney build some momentum here, blocking McChesney's attempts. 
for the Reinhardt clothesline, takes him down. Let's go for the line. Big elbow. Uh -oh. the elbow to the top of that, and Sweeney's got the Louisville slugger. Solid wood, McChesney does not see it. It's legal to use. Saw an opening right in the midsection. Charges in right down across the back as well. Use the bat to drive him down into the mat. Look out here. Fisherman suplex, beautifully done. Fingers are locked, but McChesney still escapes in the nick of time. I think Sweeney is surprised that wasn't enough to put away McChesney. But regardless of your personal opinions of his recent career choices, you got to remember what kind of a competitor John McChesney is. Oh, Luke Best pressed by Sweeney, muscles him down, hammering away. And just like that in the past five minutes, a complete 180 for John McChesney, who is now certainly on the defensive. Charging in, McChesney sidesteps and drills both feet right into that head again. Springboard drop kick connects for the third or fourth drop kick we've seen from him in the past several minutes and a near fall. His escape there was a great lesson in economy of motion. The minimum amount of move movement he needed to both get out of the way and then kick John Mc and then I'm sorry and then John McChesney kick sweet and sour right in the head. Check this out. McChesney's got that bat again. Doesn't see Sweeney. Drills him with a boot. Sweeney going for the bat. Wait, McChesney, roll up, look out. Cover. He got three. McChesney stole it. The winner of this contest and still IWC Super Indy Champion, fabulous John McChesney. A bargain basement win, as it were for the fabulous John McChesney over Larry Sweeney. It looked for a time Sweeney may be on his way to his second Super Indy title reign right here in Ellsworth. But McChesney saw Sweeney turn his back momentarily, took advantage of it, and got a very, very cheap roll up plate full of the tights, which is of course a lead. Oh, if that was a bargain basement win, well, this is a bargain basement town, so it was only appropriate. Doesn't matter how you win, matters that you win. Oh no, McChesney the beat down after this match. Side rush and leg sweep with the back to the throat. Sweeney may have uh, some very severe damage. Promoter Norm Connors trying to restore order here. We don't want an ugly scene at a fundraiser. Oh, Norm Connors just threatened to fine a $500 for John McChesney. He did it again. That's going to cost him out of his pocketbook. But McChesney doesn't